awesome class this morning, functional fitness training. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, training with unstable surfaces and why that's beneficial for you with your training program. A lot of you might have never used an unstable surface to train before, so let me explain to you really quickly what an unstable surface is. The best unstable surface to train with is probably a BOSU. Okay? So this is called a BOSU, B-O-S-U. It's a half ball, rubber on the top, plastic on the bottom. You probably have one of these somewhere at the gym that you train at. So you can ask at the front desk to see if you can grab one to do some exercises on. Now before you train with the BOSU, it's important to remember proper progression. You always want to start off in your training, training with a stable surface. So a stable surface is going to be the ground. So you move from stable to unstable once you can do the exercises properly on a stable surface first. Then you can incorporate unstable. You also want to start training bilaterally with two legs. And once you have the exercises down, you can move to unilateral with one leg. And then also, you always want to start training simple or stationary exercises so you're staying in one spot and then you want to move and you want to progress to dynamic exercises where there's a lot more movement side to side or front to back or up and down. So when you feel like you're ready to progress to the unstable surface, you can grab a BOSU and you can do almost any exercise on top of the BOSU that you would do on the ground. The reason why that's beneficial is because the exercises become much more neurally complex than doing them on the ground. What does that mean? That means that your brain has to work a lot harder to connect with all the muscles that are involved just to stabilize yourself on top of the BOSU. Why is that beneficial to you? It's beneficial because you're teaching your body how to work together as a unit much more efficiently than if you were just standing on the flat ground. Your brain has to recruit many more muscle fibers all throughout your body, from your ankles, through your knees, your hips, up your body, through your core, just to stabilize. Therefore, you're going to be burning a lot more calories while you do your, your training as well, developing smarter muscles that work together better. So you can see why it's very effective to use an unstable surface like the BOSU in your training. So here's one basic exercise you could do on a BOSU that you probably already do at your gym. And that is just simply a squat or a squat press. So climb on top of the BOSU. It's the exact same technique as a normal squat. We're simply gonna come down, keep your face and chest up tall, bring your thighs parallel to the ground, exhale up, just like that. So down, two seconds down, two seconds up. If you want to make it more challenging, you can grab a couple weights, and now you're gonna add a press. So there you have it. Try the BOSU up, guys. It's going to add a whole other element to your training. It's going to make it a lot more interesting and a lot more challenging. Have a great day and have fun training, guys. Talk to you later.